Hello guys! Welcome to my channel, Carolina's Crafts. Today we are doing something super exciting. We are going to a vampire microneedling appointment. So basically what this is, is going to be microneedling. It's deeper than what you could do at home. I used to do microneedling and everything at home, but what I'm trying to do, um, hold on, let me zoom in, is try and get rid of like this acne scar on my face. They said I'm probably going to need about three appointments for vampire microneedling. And the, 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 and the vampire part of the microneedling is that they're going to draw my blood and then they like put it in some circular thing. They like split the plasma and the blood or something like that. I don't know exactly, but I will tell you guys more as soon as I know when I go to my appointment. But they like split something and then you sit in your like blood, I guess, afterwards for about half an hour after they do the microneedling. And it's supposed to help rebuild collagen and stuff like that. So I don't know how this is going to work yet, guys, but I wanted to take you guys along with me. Hopefully, they'll let me vlog and show you guys inside while I'm getting this done. Um, my boyfriend's coming with me. Hopefully, they'll let him in and maybe he can vlog for me. We shall see, but I wanted to take you guys along with this journey um, for, with me and let you guys know how it is, what it does, how it works, and give you guys like the details and everything behind the scenes. Um, so, if you guys don't like this kind of stuff, don't watch, but I thought I would show you guys um, and just like take you guys along with me in case you guys were also interested in doing like vampire microneedling for whether it's acne scars or maybe it's just to like remove um, some lines that we may have on our forehead just from getting older like these lines it's supposed to also smooth those out so I just want to show you guys like a quick overview of my face all right here we go starting with my forehead all up close and personal and we're working our way down. I do have like some bigger pores. As you guys can see, it's supposed to also help make my pores smaller. So I have pores and everything. Um, so let's go to my apartment and see how this goes. So the first part of my appointment is to numb my face. So you want to make sure that they have a really good numbing cream with um, some active ingredients that are gonna make your face really numb for this process. I numbed for about an hour and they put on a really thick layer on my face. It's really hard to take off later, but totally worth it because you definitely want to numb for at least an hour to make sure your face is nice and numb so you don't feel the micro needles later in the process. Alright guys, so far they put a numbing cream on my face. It's going to be an hour to numb it and then it's only going to last about an hour. Alright, so it's all over my face. Then they're going to come back and draw my blood. I ate breakfast. I drank a whole bottle of water. So they said I should be okay with the blood. This is the kit, guys. Comes with all of this stuff. Oh my god, that's that's going in my arm. The little needle is. Oh god. It's a tiny needle, butterfly needle. Oh god. So while my face is numbing, they're just gonna draw my blood. So they're preparing for that right now. I am not good with blood at all. So I'm so happy that my boyfriend came with me as my support system, rubbing my hand and just being there by my side for me for this whole entire process and to experience this with me. How was that? Um, I was scared. Did you guys see how much blood they took? I don't know if you guys saw, but that whole tube that I saw that I showed you, that they took all that. Blood. I think it was 50 milliliters. 50? Five zero. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of blood. But you have a lot of blood in yourself, so I feel you're like good. I'm depleted of blood now. <laughs> that's why you're supposed <laughs> to eat and drink something. Drink this water. This is the price to pay for beauty. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. I know what you're saying. <laughs> Say goodbye for now. There's my blood, guys. So the machine that I just showed you guys, we'll go look at it again in a little bit, but what it's doing is separating the platelet-rich plasma from the platelet-poor plasma and the platelet-rich plasma is what they're going to put on my face during the microneedling process or after or something. I don't know. You guys will see everything. I don't know the full details, but that's all I know so far. So, And they're also going to send me home with the platelet-poor plasma. It says it also, they said it also helps aid in like the collagen repair or something. But the platelet-rich plasma is going to help me the most. But I get good to take home my platelet-poor plasma. I don't know. Alright guys, back to the machine to look at my blood. So this is now all red blood cells. In here, they're separating the platelet-rich plasma and the platelet-poor plasma. And the platelet-rich plasma is going to go in here. 
they're gonna dump this out and then the platelet poor plasma will go in here and I'll go home with this so the platelet poor plasma still has some benefits not as potent as this but it still has some so I'll get to go home with this as like my own little personal serum all right machine is slowing down I think it's about to separate the platelet rich plasma in there it's supposed to be like a lighter red than this because this is all red blood cells so it's supposed to be like lighter red oh it's going it's going Ooh, here's my platelet rich plasma. So what you're seeing on the left is my platelet rich plasma. On the right hand side you also see a tube with like some red things in it and that's just my red blood cells that they're going to empty out and remove and then when the machine tells them to they'll put that back emptied and then my platelet pore plasma will go in there. Alright guys my platelet pore plasma is going into here now. This is a cool machine. Got platelet rich, platelet poor. You guys see it's like a lighter color, so it's more like an amberish color. So now it was about an hour or so that I had the numbing cream on my face. Taking this off was such a pain in the butt because I had a thick layer of numbing cream on my face to make sure I was numb. And then I also just can't feel my face so I couldn't really feel around where to go next. But I did what I could in taking it off. So the next step in the microneedling process is using this derma pen. Now this derma pen has about 9 to 12 needles inside which is what the doctor is showing me right now. And she's also showing me the different settings so you could change it so the needles are going, going to go in deeper and so they could go in not as deep. So she's going to try a setting that she think I can handle for my cheeks specifically. On my cheeks, I just have some acne scarring and some pores that we're trying to work on. So what they're first going to do is use this derma pen to open up the channels in my skin. This is going to create like little holes and that's what we want because when they put the blood on we want that blood to kind of go into my skin and then help with collagen repair. So she's going step by step and section by section of my skin to open up the channels. Now you'll see here that some of the parts are bleeding but some parts are not and it does not mean that if it's not bleeding it's not working. It just means that I might have a little bit more blood in that area and that's totally okay because she's going super slow and the needles are going into basically every part that she's going over. At this point I'm not really feeling anything because of the numbing cream. The only part that I did feel is towards my bone which is towards my hairline and that's the only part that I felt that hurt a little. So after that one little section was done, they're putting on the platelet rich plasma onto my skin and just searing it on. It's going to look a little amber. This doesn't mean that the blood is from my face, but it's from my arm that they have now in that little tube. So they're searing that on and then they're going to take that derma pen and they're going to make small little circular motions and kind of infuse that uh, platelet rich plasma into my skin to help with collagen repair. Now they're just going to continue with this on my whole entire face section by section. So now you can see they're starting on my cheeks but the doctor did change the setting to be a little deeper since this is my problem area that we specifically wanted to work on. So she's going a little deeper here and if you guys could see I am closing my eyes a little bit because I felt it a little. It's not unbearable painful or anything like that but you do feel it a little bit more. So continuing on they're just going to now put on the platelet rich plasma and then sear it onto my skin and then infuse it into my skin with the derma pen and I'm just going to fast forward through the next part until we're done with my whole entire face because otherwise it's going to take forever and they're doing the same thing over and over again just over every section of my face. So for this part now, they're injecting the plasma-rich platelets, is it plasma-rich platelet or platelet-rich plasma, 
into my skin. So this is an injection that's separate from the Vampire Microneedling Facial, but it's good to do during the same process since they already have your blood drawn and already separated the plasma or platelet rich platelets or whatever it is. PRP. That's what it stands for. Um, so this is just a separate payment on top of that and it does cost uh, quite a bit of money as well but it's meant to help build collagen renewal and repair from inside of the skin out and not just from the outside like we did with opening up the channels before. And the last step at my appointment is that they're putting on my platelet rich plasma onto my face and I'm basically just going to sit in a blood mask of my own blood for about half an hour. There is some more added benefit to this where the blood kind of seeps into the skin before all the channels do close. So it's just like a last final step with a little bit more added benefit for renewal, like skin renewal and skin collagen repair. So they're just doing that and I'm going to sit there for half an hour with that blood mask on my face. Alright guys, just left the appointment. I'm still a little pink. They took the blood off though. I do have my platelet or plasma on my face, but it's not like red or anything anymore. This now it's like more of like a clear. I have the rest to go home with me in that little container and I have to keep it in the fridge and then once I get home, put it on every hour. So that should be fun. And then I have a follow-up appointment just to see like how I'm doing in about two weeks. And then if I need more, in about four to six weeks, I make another appointment for the microneedling again. And I would totally do it again. It really wasn't that bad. It wasn't that painful. I was nice and numb. And the most I felt was like on my forehead, like around the bone area. But that's about it. It really wasn't bad. I'm excited to see the results. They say you see the most of the results in about like a week. Wrong Jeep? Oh, shoot. <laughs> Thank you, babe. <laughs> <laughs> I got a micro needling appointment and I don't know where I am or what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> but yeah, I would totally do it again. It really wasn't bad at all and I'm excited to see the results because they say in about a month when the skin repairs and everything, you see the results. I also got um, the plasma put into my cheeks, which is like the problem areas. And they did that. She did that for me. Injected it. Yeah, she injected it underneath like the problem areas. So that's also supposed to help. Yeah, so I'm excited. I will probably check in again in about a month, but I'll make like a separate video at that point because this one's just going to be way too long. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions, just comment them down below and I'll respond back to you guys. Or I'll write down the questions and I'll answer them in a future video of like how it went and everything. So if you guys have any questions, just let me know in the comment section down below. I have to say guys, everyone there at the office was like really nice. Everyone was really supportive. Um, I will link below the girl that did my um, vampire facial. I know my face is like so pink. Um, it got pinker after the procedure and it's going to be pink today. Um, but hopefully eventually this scarring will go away um we'll see how it goes i don't know i'm just like so excited to see the results but like everyone was like so supportive i told them that normally i'm like not good with blood and normally when i get my blood drawn i'm always like on the verge of passing out they were understanding they told me to like drink water beforehand they told me to eat breakfast and then they asked me if i even brought a snack with me just in case which i didn't i didn't even think about that but um, they kept like checking in with me to make sure I was okay. Um, even when they were doing like the micro needling, like they walked me through everything. They told me exactly what they were doing, what it was going to feel like and blah, blah, blah. They kept checking in with me, um, asking if I was okay, if it's painful, if it was too painful, they would, um, lower down like the needles. But the more that I could take, the better the results that it would be. And I actually took a lot. They were like surprised. They were like, wow, like you could handle a lot of like, pain but like for me it wasn't really that painful because I was really really numb I guess my body reacted well to the numbness which was great I felt a little bit here and there and like I would like squint my face um I don't know if it's caught on video or not but I would like squint my face a little bit where it hurt but other than that like it really wasn't that painful and I would totally do it again I will link down their office down below I will link down the person's Instagram that did it for me and I, depending on like the results, I will probably be needing another one. I'm not sure, but everyone was like so great. And like, I just, I recommend them fully. And no guys, this is not a sponsored video. It costs um, $1,000 to get this procedure done. 
When I did book it though, they were having a promotion on vampire microneedling or vampire facials or whatever you want to call it. It goes by like both names. So they were having, they were having a promotion for 20% off of vampire facials and I booked a vampire facial. Normally it's a thousand. I got $200 off because 20% off is $200 off of a thousand. So I paid 800 flat, like no tax, no nothing, just 800 flat. My next appointment though will be $1,000 because the promotion no longer exists and you're supposed to get it every four to six weeks to get the best results if you are going to do it again. And especially for your first time, if you guys are not good with blood, I recommend having somebody there to support you. For me, it was my boyfriend and I didn't think it would mean a lot to me. Like I was like, you know, it's just a doctor's appointment. I'll be fine. But he wanted to come with me and be there for me. And it was actually really nice having him there. He held my hand when I needed him to. He held onto my feet when I didn't have a hand available. It was like really nice knowing that he was there and having him and him there being my support system. Like it was just really really nice knowing that he was there um, and knowing that he was there whenever I needed him or whatever I needed um, so it was really nice I definitely recommend having a support system if you guys have one maybe it's your parent maybe it's a sibling maybe it's a friend anybody you guys have I recommend taking with you for your first time especially if you're not good with getting your blood drawn like me over here <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching like I said any questions you guys may have I will answer some comments down below but if there's like a lot of like the same questions I will probably write it down and I'll end up doing another video on it like a Q&A but yes let me know any questions you guys have like I am here for you guys in case you guys want to get this micro needling vampire facial I actually when I booked it I did not look up any videos on it I was just like a little scared to look up videos like I don't want to look it up because then I might not do it but some people like to know what they're getting themselves into so I filmed the video for you guys and I hope you guys enjoyed it I'm sorry it was graphic but that's just what it is I wasn't bleeding really from my face when you guys saw the blood on my face it wasn't really blood from my face here and there I might have like a couple of drops from the micro needling not all places bleed it just depends on where there's more blood but the blood mainly was from the blood drawn from my arm right there that they ended up putting onto my face which was my plate my rich my plasma rich platelets that's what they put on my face which was like the red now this when I put this on it's kind of like clear looking when you put it on my face which I have it on my face right now so you can't really tell all right guys I'm gonna go now I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video